This is the Cambridge English Flyers listening sample test. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. I took this photo by the lake last Saturday, Grandma. It looks lovely. Do you know any of these people? Yes, I do. The man who's reading the newspaper is William. He's wearing a nice hat. He is, isn't he? Grandpa knows him, I think. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Look at that boy. The one with the striped sweater? Yes, that's Richard. His dad teaches me geography. At your school? Yes, I think he's drinking lemonade. He's always thirsty. Who's that girl on the bike? The one with the short blonde hair? No, not her. The one who's laughing. Oh, that's Sally. She's my best friend. That's nice. Yes, we often do our math homework together. Do you know my cousin David? Is he in the photo too? Yes. Look at his red belt. Oh, I see. Is that his toy helicopter? Yes, it's new. It's excellent. He loves it. Do you know the woman who's giving bread to the swans? No, but I know the other woman behind her. Oh, do you? What's her name? It's Sarah. She's got a puppy with her. Look, she works at Mom's office. Can you see the boy who's waving his arms? Oh, yes. He looks very angry. Yes, he does. That's Harry. The other boy's taken his volleyball away. Oh, dear. It's okay. They're brothers. Now listen to part one again. Look at that boy. The one with the striped sweater? Yes, that's Richard. His dad teaches me geography. At your school? Yes, I think he's drinking lemonade. He's always thirsty. Who's that girl on the bike? The one with the short blonde hair? No, not her. The one who's laughing. Oh, that's Sally. She's my best friend. That's nice. Yes, we often do our math homework together. Do you know my cousin David? Is he in the photo too? Yes, look at his red belt. Oh, I see. Is that his toy helicopter? Yes. It's new. It's excellent. He loves it. Do you know the woman who's giving bread to the swans? No, but I know the other woman behind her. Oh, do you? What's her name? It's Sarah. She's got a puppy with her. Look. She works at Mom's office. Can you see the boy who's waving his arms? Oh, yes. He looks very angry. Yes, he does. That's Harry. The other boy's taken his volleyball away. Oh, dear. It's okay. They're brothers.
That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Now listen, boys and girls. I want to tell you about an interesting club here at school. What is the club? It's called the Space Club. It's at 6.30 on Tuesday evenings. Oh, I think I'd like to come to that. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What do people do at this club? Well, they can learn about the stars and they can make new friends too. Oh, that sounds great. And sometimes they go out when it's dark. They look at the moon when there are no clouds in the sky. Do people have to bring anything to the club meetings? Pens and paper? No, but it's a good idea to bring a torch. It'll be dark outside and they must be careful when they go out. And what happens if it's a cloudy night and you can't see anything? Do the children watch TV programmes? No, Michael. But the club has some very interesting DVDs. So we watch those on nights like that. Oh, good. I'll enjoy that. And a friend of mine from the university sometimes comes to talk about space in the future. His name's Mr Bailey. How do you spell his surname? B A I L E Y. He's very famous. He's written lots of books. Now listen to part two again. What do people do at this club? Well, they can learn about the stars and they can make new friends too. Oh, that sounds great. And sometimes they go out when it's dark. They look at the moon when there are no clouds in the sky. Do people have to bring anything to the club meetings? Pens and paper? No, but it's a good idea to bring a torch. It'll be dark outside and they must be careful when they go out. And what happens if it's a cloudy night and you can't see anything? Do the children watch TV programmes? No, Michael. But the club has some very interesting DVDs. So we watch those on nights like that. Oh, good. I'll enjoy that. And a friend of mine from the university sometimes comes to talk about space in the future. His name's Mr Bailey. How do you spell his surname? B A I L E Y. He's very famous. He's written lots of books. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Where did Uncle Robert get each of these things? You've got some lovely things in this room, Uncle Robert. Where did you get that painting? The one of the mountain? Well, in my job, I have to go to lots of different places. I found it in a market that I visited last year. It wasn't expensive. I was quite surprised. It's so beautiful. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Those gloves look very warm, Uncle Robert. Who gave you those? I can't remember, but I got them when I had to visit a factory. Someone gave them to me when I left. I don't wear them because they're too small. Can I have them? Sure. And wow, that fan looks like a rainbow. When did you buy that? When I was working in a castle. The building was 600 years old. You could buy all kinds of things there. 
I might give it to your grandmother. What's your favorite thing here? Well, I heard some really great music at a theater I traveled to. Later, at the airport, I found a store that sold drums. They were just like the ones a man played in the concert. So you bought them? Yes, I love them. But your aunt says they're too noisy. And this is a birthday present for your mother. I had a meeting in a nice town in the middle of a forest last week. There's a little store there full of interesting things. It's made of glass. <laughs> Be careful with it. Don't worry. Mom loves swans. I'm sure she'll like it. Why haven't you opened this box of chocolates? Are they a present too? Yes. I was waiting for you to arrive. I had some in my favorite cafe in London. They tasted so good. These are the same. They're for you. I got them from the hotel where I stayed last night. Wow. Thanks. Now listen to part three again. Those gloves look very warm, Uncle Robert. Who gave you those? I can't remember, but I got them when I had to visit a factory. Someone gave them to me when I left. I don't wear them because they're too small. Can I have them? Sure. And wow, that fan looks like a rainbow. When did you buy that? When I was working in a castle. The building was 600 years old. You could buy all kinds of things there. I might give it to your grandmother. What's your favorite thing here? Well, I heard some really great music at a theater I traveled to. Later, at the airport, I found a store that sold drums. They were just like the ones a man played in the concert. So you bought them? Yes, I love them. But your aunt says they're too noisy. And this is a birthday present for your mother. I had a meeting in a nice town in the middle of a forest last week. There's a little store there full of interesting things. It's made of glass. <laughs> Be careful with it. Don't worry. Mom loves swans. I'm sure she'll like it. Why haven't you opened this box of chocolates? Are they a present too? Yes. I was waiting for you to arrive. I had some in my favorite cafe in London. They tasted so good. These are the same. They're for you. I got them from the hotel where I stayed last night. Wow. Thanks. That is the end of part three. Part 4. Listen and look. There is one example. What was Grandma's favorite job? You've had many different jobs, haven't you, Grandma? Yes, Jack. I was a secretary for many years, but I didn't like it much. Weren't you a nurse, too? That was only for a short time when I was very young. Did you like doing that? Yes, but I think I enjoyed working in the chemists in my village most of all. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which museum is Jack's grandma going to work in? I've got a new job now, Jack, in a museum. I'm going to start today. So where is this museum? Is it the one next to my school? No, not that one. I know. Is it that big one opposite the hospital? No, it's the one in the park. Wow! My class is going to visit that museum next month. 2. 
What does Jack enjoy doing most in museums? I enjoy visiting museums. That's good. Do you like drawing the things that you can see there? Yes, but I like finding out about different things most of all. There's always something interesting to read. I agree. I'd like to pick things up and hold them too. But you can't do that in every museum, can you? No, that's right, Jack. Three. What is the most interesting thing in the museum? It's a very exciting museum. You can learn a lot about history there. Are there any dinosaurs? No. The most interesting thing in the museum. Is a boat that sailed all round the world four hundred years ago. Wow! What else? Well, there are a lot of old gold and silver things. Some of them are a thousand years old. Four. What is Jack's grandma going to do in the museum? But what are you going to do there? Are you going to work in the shop there? No, I wanted to sell food to people who are visiting. That's a nice job. Yes, but they asked me to do something different. I'm going to show children who visit the museum interesting things, and explain the history to them. That's excellent. You're very clever, Grandma. Five. How will Jack's grandma get to work? Are you going to take the bus to the museum every day? No, it's sometimes too slow. What about a taxi? That's very quick. Yes, but it's too expensive. So what will you do? I'll take the train. That's the best way to get there. Now listen to part four again. One. Which museum is Jack's grandma going to work in? I've got a new job now, Jack, in a museum. I'm going to start today. So where is this museum? Is it the one next to my school? No, not that one. I know. Is it that big one opposite the hospital? No, it's the one in the park. Wow, my class is going to visit that museum next month. Two. What does Jack enjoy doing most in museums? I enjoy visiting museums. That's good. Do you like drawing the things that you can see there? Yes. But I like finding out about different things most of all. There's always something interesting to read. I agree. I'd like to pick things up and hold them too, but you can't do that in every museum, can you? No, that's right, Jack. Three. What is the most interesting thing in the museum? It's a very exciting museum. You can learn a lot about history there. Are there any dinosaurs? No. The most interesting thing in the museum is a boat that sailed all round the world four hundred years ago. Wow! What else? Well, there are a lot of old gold and silver things. Some of them are a thousand years old. Four. What is Jack's grandma going to do in the museum? But what are you going to do there? Are you going to work in the shop there? No, I wanted to sell food to people who are visiting. That's a nice job. Yes, but they asked me to do something different. I'm going to show children who visit the museum interesting things. And explain the history to them. That's excellent. 
You're very clever, Grandma. Five. How will Jack's grandma get to work? Are you going to take the bus to the museum every day? No, it's sometimes too slow. What about a taxi? That's very quick. Yes, but it's too expensive. So what will you do? I'll take the train. That's the best way to get there. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. I went to a city like this on vacation last year. There were lots of high buildings next to the river there, too. Oh. Well, would you like to color some of this picture? Sure. There's a man on a seat. Can I color his newspaper? All right. Make it pink. Fine. Can you see the pink newspaper? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. What else would you like me to color? How about a suitcase? You could color one of those. Which one? The one on the ground by the entrance to the building? Yes, please. Okay. How about making that blue? Good idea. Use that color. Two. I'd like you to write something here, too, please. Okay. I hope it's not a long word. Don't worry. Write a name on the front of the boat for me. Okay. What do you want me to call it? Sunny. Like the weather. That's an excellent name. Okay. Three. Can I do some more coloring? I'm quite good at that. Of course. The boy who's looking over the bridge has got a backpack on his back. Yes. Do you want me to color that, then? Only its pocket. Nothing else. Make it orange. I love that color. So do I. All right. I can do that. Four. I'd like you to write something else now. We need a name for the hotel, too. Okay. That's a good idea. Well, there's a board above its double doors. Can you see it? It's got plants on it. Write it there. All right. We'll call it Star Hotel. Lots of famous people stay there. Okay. That sounds good. I'll write that now. Thank you. Five. And perhaps you should color one of the flags before we finish. The one at the back of the boat? I don't think so. Color the one in the park, by the path, please. What color? You've got a yellow pencil, I think. Use that one. Okay. There. I've finished. Great.
Now listen to part five again. One. What else would you like me to color? How about a suitcase? You could color one of those. Which one? The one on the ground by the entrance to the building? Yes, please. Okay. How about making that blue? Good idea. Use that color. Two. I'd like you to write something here too, please. Okay. I hope it's not a long word. Don't worry. Write a name on the front of the boat for me. Okay. What do you want me to call it? Sunny, like the weather. That's an excellent name. Okay. Three. Can I do some more coloring? I'm quite good at that. Of course. The boy who's looking over the bridge has got a backpack on his back. Yes. Do you want me to color that then? Only its pocket. Nothing else. Make it orange. I love that color. So do I. All right. I can do that. Four. I'd like you to write something else now. We need a name for the hotel too. Okay, that's a good idea. Well, there's a board above its double doors. Can you see it? It's got plants on it. Write it there. All right. We'll call it Star Hotel. Lots of famous people stay there. Okay. That sounds good. I'll write that now. Thank you. Five. And perhaps you should color one of the flags before we finish. The one at the back of the boat? I don't think so. Color the one in the park. By the path, please. What color? You've got a yellow pencil, I think. Use that one. Okay. There. I've finished. Great.